purpose. They move nervous. She want a bag. Better deserve it. Better be worth it. I'm flexing on purpose. It's your girl Issa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I did something a little different. I don't know if you guys can tell because it looks like my regular natural hair, but this is a wig. I mean, you know, if y'all know me, I don't do wigs, okay? I don't do wigs at all. I've never really been a fan of them. The only wig that I've ever had was like this little short hairstyle and it was not the business okay so yeah this is a wig it's a u-part wig and i have my hair out in the middle right here so if you want to see how i got this look make sure you stay tuned hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you know when the next time i do another video okay and we are back with my damaged thin hair okay so that's why i got the wig it's by modern hair show aka hair and beauty dot com but i got mine on aliexpress it came with a wig cap and this is what it looks like straight out of the pack it comes in a hair net of course and this is very thick as you can see i believe i got the kinky curly i'll have to look up the measurements again and I'll put the link in the um, description. But as you can see, it came with the bands on and you just cut them off when you put them on. There's five cones and the little adjustable strap thing. So first things first, you guys, I did wash my wig. Um, I'm just going to fill up my sink with some hot or lukewarm water. And I added some vinegar to the water as well as a, a peppermint charcoal shampoo by Natural um, Queen Hair Care. You guys have seen me use that before, especially on this channel. So yeah, um, the shampoo that I added to my water is by Natural Queen Hair Care. It's the charcoal and um, peppermint line. So basically, I just wanted to wash all the impurities or any dirt that, or product or chemicals or anything like that. Um, so I set it in there and I soaked it for a good little minute. It was probably about an hour, maybe more, depending on what I was doing afterwards. I don't know, because honestly, this was a long time ago. <laughs> but um, in the next clip, you will see... Um, the little bit of shedding that came out after I took it out of um, the water. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I let it air dry and yeah, then I'll be moving on to... Alright, so in this next clip, I just sped it up because it's really not that important. Um, you guys know how to part in, <laughs> in braid hair. But basically all I did was create the part in the middle and separated it from the rest of my head so that I could um, braid it down. And I did struggle with this part because I'm not used to braiding my hair anymore. But yeah, so I just did a braid on the side of my head going all the way back on both sides. And then I did braids closer to the top by the lever out so I could um tack it down to those braids but yeah my hair is a very struggly at this point currently um it did thicken back up but uh it's probably gonna be a good little minute before I get back the length and evenness that I had you know before um damaging my hair but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I did in this in this part.
So here's my hair all done now and really um, I'm just gonna put my wig cap on and I really only put that because I thought it would help prevent it from uh, sliding off so I just stuck the combs in each side of my head and to where the cornrows were honestly it really uh, didn't tack down really good because I feel like it needed an extra comb um, on both sides in the front because it lifts up easily so um, I ended up buying some little combs to sew it on myself and yeah y'all see that um, wig cap is, is not <laughs> it's not staying on I mean it is but I mean it's not really necessary honestly but, you know, I was just trying to keep my, my little cornrows intact. So, here I am trying to adjust this damn wig the best way that I know how. <laughs> and I'm using some edge control to swerve down my little edges. It's the edge booster, the peach one. And, yeah, so I'm just making some little swoopy swoops. I'm wetting my hair back up again because, of course, it dried out made me a little nice part in the middle and that's really where my hair was thinning out all in the middle i'm so glad it started to grow back now but that's all i did really i wet my hair um put some product in and tried to brush it accordingly into the hair to like blend it this kind of took me a while because my texture was a little bit off um when I was first doing this but now my hair is a little bit more tamed and back to its regular um, texture so it's a lot easier to blend now but when I first used this definitely not and of course as usual I'm using um natural queen hair care products that one was the leave-in um, styling lotion And I was very generous with um, putting moisture and product into this hair. And then I cut a little bit in the front to frame it so that it wouldn't be so uneven and it would blend more with my natural length. But yeah, just continue to watch. I mean, I really don't have too much to say. I mean, you know, the visual is everything. You'll just see me messing around with it, trying to get it to blend <laughs> for the next few minutes.
guys for tuning in to another video um i know i don't really post that often but i do have some new content that i want to get started so with that being said everything that i used in this video i'm gonna link it below and yeah thank you for watching make sure you guys hit the like and the subscribe and the bell and all that great stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video